A new quest is available. It is about creating and managing animations on a Renfi project. Let's do this quest together. Is everyone ready? The first step in this quest is to drop images into the images folder. To do this, I will take images from my resources folder and put them in the images folder of the project. As you can see, I place several images of a character with different expressions and a background. Okay, what's next, Mia? Our second step in this quest is to go to the script file. Got it. Let me open this file. Uh, okay. It's done. What do we do now? Next, I'm going to write some code to move my character on an x-axis according to a duration in seconds. In this block of code, I will set the default x and y position, the movement of a character on the x-axis, and the type of animation. I will also include repeat to repeat the animation. In this example, our character will move on the x-axis from left to right for 3 seconds. I will then display this animation when the game starts. To display the animation, I will use the show statement followed by the name of the image. Then I write the it statement followed by the name of the code block for the character animations. And here is the result. It looks pretty good. But how do you change the character's expression? Let's look at this together. For this, I'm going to write a new animation block that allows the character's expression to change. I will set the different images of the character. I will also pause the animation to allow time for the images to display with the pause statement. Finally, I will also include repeat to repeat the animation. The name and quotes with the extension PNG are the images of the character located in the images folder of the project. Pause allows an image to be displayed before moving on to the next image. Dissolve gives an animation effect which makes the image disappear. Repeat allows the animation to be repeated. If it is not included in the code, the animation will only play once. The images in my project are very large, so I will resize them here. This parameter is optional. I recommend that you first check if the image is displayed properly before using this parameter. One of the most dangerous things I've ever attempted 
Then I will display these images with the show statement followed by the name of the code block of this second animation. I will also determine the position where the images will be displayed. True center allows the image to be displayed in the center. And that was the day my anxieties began. Yes, you are right. You can also use another position for the character like top, left, right. In our quest, we will use true sensor. Okay, everything works fine. Now let's see the next step. What? This quest is endless. This is only the beginning of the quest. There are still many steps to go. I admit defeat. I will never be able to accomplish this quest. Descartes, I'm sure you can help us and the viewers who watch us. I'm counting on you. Well, well, I'll try to do my best. Okay, try this. To play two animations at the same time, I will use the parallel statement. I will then include in each parallel block the code to make the character move and the code to change the expressions of the character. For this step, I will delete True Center because I already used the X axis to move the character. Your quest is really difficult. I don't understand anything. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll understand. I write all the instructions for each line of code in the video. You can watch what each line of code I write does. You can also look at the Renthi documentation if you start to get lost. I put a link in the description. Okay, I will try to understand your quest. Perfect. Let's see the next step. That's it. I understood step one. We are at step five. What? Already? You are fast. Descartes, you can do it. In this step, we will see how to use the animation statement. I will write to blocks of code to display to different images that can move along the x-axis. The animation instruction indicates the use of the animation statement. Now let's write the second block. We also change the position of X align. Then we can write code to display the images. To display the first image, I will write the show statement followed by the name of the image. Then I will hide the first image with the hide statement. Finally, I'll put a pause statement and then display the second image with the show statement.
Is this quest over? No, this is not the end. If you want to play the animation only once, you can remove the repeat parameter. To display multiple backgrounds, I will use a new code block containing to different background images. That's it. This quest is over. Feel free to have a look at the online documentation if you want to know more about the animations in Renpy. Congratulations! It was really stressful. Is it true? It's finally over. I can finally rest and have a good glass of whiskey. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this tutorial is a bit longer, but there was a lot to do. The publication date of this video is 14 February 2023. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all. See you soon.